What is exotonics and why does it matter? It's a great question, you know, what is, what is an exoton or what are exotonics for that matter? At its core, it's really just excited electrons. The physicists like to think of an exciton as a particle that gets formed when light interacts with a molecule. An exciton is, is kind of made up of two charges together, the negative electron and then the opposite of that, which is positive, is called a hole. The process starts with the sun in the sky and we have a certain amount of solar radiation with, which hits the Earth. It has the ability to take this solar energy and convert it into another kind of energy which we call an exciton. Excitons are formed actually in the solar cell or the photovoltaic material. You want to use that exciton to ex extract the electricity. Really what it is in terms of renewable energy is probably the best way of harnessing the, the energy from the sun. It's, it's sort of an ideal venue for going from photon energy to electric energy. It matters because it's the most fundamental step happening in a solar cell. You want to make cheap and efficient uh, solar materials for renewable energy. This is the way that life has been generating energy since the dawn of time. When you look out your window, you see a blade of grass, and that blade of grass is using excitons to generate energy for itself. We want to use uh, sunshine because it's out there, it's endless, it's forever, it's going to be around as long as we live. We know we're going to need this, and it's such an abundant source of energy that it's just a big game changer. The Exotonic Center is really interested in studying when we form these excitons, how do we form them, how do we move them to the interfaces we want to break them up at, and how do we then use that electricity? How do, how do we get the most out of each photon from the sun that we possibly can? And this isn't a problem that just one group in one particular department can solve. It's something that requires a collaborative effort from the people who make the material, to the people who characterize the material, to the people who actually end up building the device. In five years, I think we'll have a much deeper understanding of exotons and exotonic devices in general. If we can understand it on a single particle level, at the very basic mechanism, what we can do is we can take that information and hand it over to our device colleagues or the engineering folk and they can apply these principles in their own design to actually implement these into a, a device that one day might actually sit on your roof. The Exotonic Center just, it does a really nice job of, you know, helping to remind you of the importance of what you're doing. It takes you off the island a little bit and, you know, it reminds you that people are in fact interested in what you're doing.